name's Tina. Today's my first day working here at Quantum Labs. I'm waiting to meet someone named Gizmo. Apparently, he's one of the robots I'll be working with here. I hope he's a nice, personable robot, and not one of those ones that talks kind of funny. Hello, I am Gizmo. Oh, hello. Welcome to Quantum Labs, Tina Bumble. Please follow me to robot speech class, where you will learn to communicate with robots. Okay, thank you. Just kidding. Welcome to Quantum Labs. We have been expecting you. Goodness, you really had me going there. We are currently testing new humor protocols to defuse awkward situations. Well, they work great. Excellent. I will log your feedback. Please hop on board and we will get started right away. Um, Gizmo? Would it be okay if we bring a few friends along? Absolutely. I will have security update your credentials right away. Great! Let's go! Ready, set, go! Wow! There sure are a lot of people working here. Gizmo, how many different divisions of Quantum Labs are there? I have no idea. New ones are added almost every day, so most of us have stopped counting. Here we are. Welcome to Quantum Labs Robotics Division. It's amazing! But where are all the robots? That is a good question. Follow me. Good morning, Rig. This is our new robotics intern, Miss Tina Bumble. Hello. Hi. Who are they? Oh, these are my new friends. Why don't you say hello to Rig? Hello to Rig. Wait. Rig is currently testing a new variable weight workout system, which allows him to lift the simulated weight of whatever he chooses. What are you lifting today, Rig? Kittens! Wow! How does it work? Kittens. Oh, I love kittens! Me too! Hello? One second... There. Hi, how are you? Great, I'm Tina. Gears, pleased to meet you. What are you working on, Gears? Have they all signed non-disclosure agreements? They are fine, Gears. They are with us. Excellent. This is the all-new Dustomite 3000 by Gears. Every 10 minutes, it emits a silent, non-disruptive energy pulse to eliminate dust particles on any surface within a 15-foot radius. Wow! That's gonna change the way people clean their houses forever! Huh. I hadn't thought of that. Then why did you invent it? To keep my collection of Protonatron action figures minty fresh! You will have to forgive him. He has 24 of the same toy. Actually, Actually, they're, they're each, each slightly, slightly different. different. You like Protonatron? I love it. I have a complete set. Even the Protonicon 36 limited edition exclusive. Still in the box. Do you think I might be able to have a look at that sometime? Of course. <laughs> yes! Well, I don't know about you guys, but I think we're going to get along just fine. Definitely. I think so. Me too. How about you? Would you like to keep hanging out with us? Yeah. 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 Great. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought there were supposed to be four robots. Is someone missing? Ah, uh, yes. Widget. Oh, please do not be offended. She is just nervous about someone new working here with us. She's been hiding for hours. We don't even know where she is. Oh, no. Yes, it is hard to believe, I know. Well, not really. I was actually a little scared about meeting all of you, too. You were? Because we're big? Or because we're smart? Or because we're red? No, sometimes it's just scary to try new things. To go new places or to meet new people. And I had to do all of that today. 
It was extra scary. Are you scared right now? No. I was scared before, but then I read a great story in the Bible this morning that helped me out big time. I wish I could share it with Widget. Wait! Maybe you can! How? You could tell us the story, and we can record it for her. Oh, and I could animate visuals to go along with it. You know how to animate? I am a self-taught hobbyist, but I can get the job done. That's amazing! Yeah, well, I developed the software for him. Okay, Gears. What do you think? Do you want to hear the story too? Yeah. 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 Cool. Come on, let's go. Ready, set, go! Ready. One day, a man named Moses was watching a flock of sheep in the desert. Shoo! While he was watching them, Moses discovered a bush which was burning bright with fire. I bet that bush burned up pretty fast. Actually, it didn't burn up at all. What? It was God speaking to Moses through the bush. What did God say? First, God told Moses to take off his shoes because the ground there was holy. Miss Tina, does holy ground counteract the smell of human feet? Not sure. Maybe. God told Moses he had seen the suffering of his people, the Israelites, and that he wanted to set them free from Egypt. God promised them a new land, bigger and better than they could imagine, one filled with milk and honey. Mm, milk and honey. And God wanted Moses to set them free. From that guy? Yep, and as you can imagine, Moses was very afraid. He didn't think he was the right man for the job. But God told Moses he wouldn't be alone. God would go with him. Well, that's good. You can't really go wrong if God is with you. That's true, but Moses was still afraid. He didn't think anyone would listen to him or believe that God had really sent him. So God told Moses he would prove it by doing miracles through him and even showed Moses a few right there on the spot. Miracles are amazing. Surely those gave Moses the courage he needed. They didn't. Moses wasn't very good at talking, so talking to the large group of Israelites was especially scary for him. Did God upgrade his vocal processors? Not quite. God reminded Moses that he created humans with the ability to speak and listen, and that he would teach Moses what to say. So Moses said okay, and went to Egypt to free the Israelites. Still no. Seriously? Even after everything God said and showed him, Moses still asked God to send someone else instead. Wow, that must have been annoying. God did get frustrated with Moses, but lots of people in the Bible and lots of people since have had trouble overcoming their fears. Even when God is with them? Definitely, because God is always with us. So what happened? Did God send someone else instead? He did not. But God did send Moses' brother Aaron along with him so that Aaron could help speak for Moses. So even though God was already with Moses, God gave Moses someone else to be with him too. Exactly. Moses and Aaron went to Egypt together and told the Israelites what God had said. When the people heard that God cared about them and wanted to set them free, they bowed down and worshipped God. So did the Pharaoh agree to set them free? Eventually, yes, but that's a story for another time. Great job, Miss Tina. I will export the file and send it to Widget immediately. Don't worry. <gasps> I heard it. Hi, Miss Tina. I'm Widget. Hi, Widget. It's nice to meet you. I'm sorry I've been hiding all day. I was pretty scared to meet you and all of your new friends. But after hearing the story about Moses, I realized... I didn't have to be. I'm so glad. Miss Tina, I think I may know an applicable scripture verse. Do you mind if I share it? Of course not. Go ahead. Widget, could you please pull up Deuteronomy 31.6? Widget has holographic projection capability. Cool. So be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid and do not panic before them. For the Lord your God will personally go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. That's perfect! And it's actually from the story of Moses, too. It was exactly the kind of encouragement I needed today. Really? You were scared, too? Oh, yeah. 
When I first came to this awesome place, I had a nervous kind of face. Was it maybe because everything around was new? Plus, I didn't know a single one of you. When I heard someone new was here, I had to hide my wings in fear. With a different sort of new thing in your home, you can suddenly feel scared and shy and alone. But my God's giving me strength, giving me strength. Moses, everything's all right. God would go with him and keep him safe. It is light. My God's given me strength, given me strength to be courageous. Do not be afraid, because the Lord is with me everywhere I go. Yeah! He's given me strength, given me strength to be courageous. Do not be afraid. Always so close. I'm never alone. Ready, set, go! Are you sure about this, Miss Tina? Absolutely. You're supposed to visit the dentist every six months. It's shocking that you guys have never been. But we've heard scary stuff about the dentist. Like what? That he's scary. Well, if you take good care of your teeth every day, you should have nothing to be afraid of. All right, kids, what's the plan? Plan? What plan? For getting us out of this. Pretend you don't know where we are. Tell her we're lost. Gears, I cannot betray my geosensors. I know exactly where we are. Come on, Gizmo, do me a solid. Do you really think I want to go to the dentist? I have heard all the same stories you have. Please, Gizmo, I'm begging you. We're all begging you. We have arrived. for the delay, folks. I'll be with you in just one moment. Six-month rush. You know how it is. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out! I apologize, Doctor. They've never been to the dentist before. That's quite all right. We see this kind of thing all the time. You do? Of course. It's always scary to try something new for the first time. But whenever we face new challenges, God gives us the courage to see them through. And once we've tried it, it's not usually so bad after all. Trust me, you bots have nothing to worry about. See? Especially since none of you have any teeth. What? what? <laughs> oh, right. I did not think of that. Thank you, Doctor. So sorry to take up your time. Of course. We can still squeeze you in, Miss Bumble. Who? Me? As a human with a full set of teeth, you're more than qualified. Oh, I don't know about that. Don't worry, Miss Tina. God will give you the strength. The strength to be courageous. Right. Thanks, Widget. The Lord is with me everywhere I go. The first thing we'd like to try is not clenching your teeth so hard. Ready, set, go! Oh, sweet ride, ears. Why, thank you. It's not mine, though, unfortunately. Really? 
I'm just souping it up for a friend. Or should I say, I'm supering it up for a superhero! You work on cars for superheroes? I didn't realize Valley View had a superhero. I don't think we do. Oh, we do indeed. And this is his car. You're looking at the all-new, fully-equipped Gizmobile! By Gears. Wait, the Gizmobile? Does that mean... That is right. It is I, Super Gizmo, the robot without fear. Gizmo? You're a superhero? Miss Tina, please. You are going to give away my secret identity. Sorry. My bad. Super Gizmo, right? How long have you been a superhero? I am new. I just got started today, in fact. So, this is your origin story! Yes. Yes, it is. Your origin story is you picking up a custom car from Gears? That is part of it, yes. Speaking of which, Citizen Gears is the Gizmobile ready for action? Yes, it is, Super Gizmo. As is my resume for superhero sidekick. I will have to look at that later. Now I am off to save the world. Save the world? Is it in danger? Perhaps not at the moment. But whenever it is, I will be ready to save it. That's a pretty big job. I am not worried. I am the robot without fear. I have strength. Strength to be courageous. Wait, is that what this is about? Being courageous? Yes, as you know, God gives us courage, and courageous people do courageous things. How could I not be a superhero? Great point. I should be one too. Hold on, hold on. God does give us strength to be courageous. And sometimes it's for big things, but most of the time it's smaller everyday things he wants us to do. Like meeting a new friend, trying a new food, or praying for someone. Just because God gives us courage doesn't mean he expects us to become superheroes who have to save the entire world. Oh, thank goodness. That was a lot of pressure. I am going to go change. I'm still going to invoice you for the car! Ready, set, go! Oh, Widget, can you believe it? After all these years, we're actually in line to see Scary Cloud 3! Have you even seen the first two movies? Uh, no. But this is a huge franchise, and I want to be a part of the hype. I'm not too sure about this, Gears. The movie looks kind of scary. Uh, yeah? It's called Scary Cloud 3. What tipped you off? I'm just not sure we should be seeing it. Seriously? Why not? E everyone else is seeing it. But what if it's too scary? Come on, Widget. We've got nothing to worry about, remember? God is giving us strength. Strength to watch a scary movie. We'll be fine. I guess... He's always so close. I'm never alone. Hey, guys. Hi, Miss Tina. Of course you're a Scary Cloud fan. I should have known. You're awesome. Scary Cloud? We're here to see Smitten. It's a documentary about kittens. Kitten. Is that what you're here to see? Scary Cloud? Yes. Unless you think that's bad. Widget. Technically, it's called Scary Cloud 3. I don't know, Gears. Watching such a scary movie might not be such a hot idea. I don't want you guys getting bad dreams. Do you have dreams? They are usually just of electric sheep, but it is always a possibility. Yeah, guys. I think you should probably see the documentary with us. Oh, but Miss Tina, you said God would give us courage to do stuff, even if that stuff seems scary. That's true, but God gives us courage to do things he wants us to do. Good things. But this movie is supposed to be better than good, see? 
I meant good isn't beneficial. Things that are helpful to you and to others. So you're saying God doesn't want us to see this movie? God doesn't want you to fill your head with negative things. And movies that are scary just for the sake of being scary aren't really helpful to anyone. Widget, do you want to see this movie or the kitten movie? I mean, if you want to see the kitten movie, I would be fine with it. If you want to. Then it's settled. We'll see the kitten movie. Yay! <laughs> so do you think it'll have a post credit scene? Will it set up a sequel documentary about cats? Will it cross over with other documentaries about various felines? Is there a shared cat documentary universe? Ready, set, go! Welcome back, folks. For those of you just joining us, the Jurassic Bots have secured their spot in the championship with a magnificent game-winning catch. That catch comes courtesy of star Jurassic Bot player Rig, who executed a perfectly timed leap, gaining control of the sports ball in midair, right as the game clock expired. And just like that, the Jurassic Bots are headed to the sports ball. I'm Host Bot 1, and I'm Host Bot 2, and you're watching the Robo Sports Network. That was incredible, the game-winning catch! Great job, Ray! You were amazing! <sighs> What's wrong, Ray? After I caught the ball, everyone was so excited. But when I looked down at my feet, I saw my foot was out of bounds. Um, uh, what does that mean? Catch didn't count. And nobody noticed? Just me. Oh, no. Does this mean we don't get to sit in the luxury box at the championship? Gears! Are you gonna tell somebody? They're gonna be mad. Who's gonna be mad? Coach, teammates, fans. Oh, they'll understand, Rig. I am not so sure, Miss Tina. The fan base is very passionate. I know it's hard, Rig. But if you know you didn't make that catch, it really is important that you tell someone. But I'm scared. I know. But just like God gives us courage for other things that seem scary, he also gives us courage to do the right thing, no matter what anyone else might think. Thanks, Miss Tina. Welcome back, folks. For those of you just joining us, we're taking you out live to the Jurassic Bots press room, where playoff winner Rig is about to make a big surprise announcement. Let's listen in. In our last game against the Robo Wildcats, just after my big catch, my foot landed out of bounds. The catch was no good. We didn't really win. I'm not sure how nobody noticed, but I did. So I needed to tell you. Thank you. Wow, folks, there you have it. Now that Rig has come forward, the Jurassic Bots are officially disqualified from the championship game. It's true, Hostbot One, and while many fans will be upset by this news, the integrity of the players is really what makes this sport of sports ball great. Well said, Hostbot Two. We all look forward to seeing Rig back on the field next season. So, do you feel any better, Rig? I do. I feel like I won after all. Moses was scared when he saw the bush. He felt the fire, he heard the whoosh. When the Lord told Moses everything's all right, God would go with him and keep him safe in his life. My God's giving me strength, giving me strength to be courageous. Oh, oh, oh. Just think, all of this could have easily been avoided if you didn't have feet. Wheels forever! Yeah! Ready, set, go! So, Miss Tina, what did you think of your first day at Quantum Labs? It was great, Gizmo. I made some really good friends. A lot of good friends. Did you enjoy your time at Quantum Labs today, too? Yeah! Sure. yeah. Great! 
Say, Giz, do you think they might be able to come back and see us again? Of course, anytime. Awesome! Hey, thanks for being my errand today and helping me speak to the other robots. It was my pleasure. Oh no, I forgot about robot speech class. We are very late. Wait, robot speech class? That was real? Bumble. 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 Looks like we better get going. So now it's your turn to go and have courage and do the things God wants you to do. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Ready, set, go. It's the new Superbook Bible app. <laughs> it's packed with games, activities, and Superbook episodes that you can watch for free. Oh, no! There's trivia, a fun daily devotional, and answers to your Bible questions. Plus, an easy-to-understand Bible the whole family will enjoy. You can even create your own Superbook character. Ta-da! It's the new Superbook Bible app. Free downloads on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon.